Hey folks, it's Mr. Ray here again. Our next uh, math lesson in grade 10 academic. So um, this will be our seventh lesson in distance learning. Uh, it's actually the last lesson of unit three in the formal course. Uh, so that uh, that's a milestone. That's based. That's the that's the last lesson in quadratics. So I know it's been a long haul. It's been a lot of uh, sometimes tough work, sometimes monotonous maybe. Um, but this kind of is what this lesson here is kind of what we've been leading towards uh, for the last you know two months or whatever we've taken to do the course so far. Uh, it's basically applying what we've learned with quadratics. That includes you know factoring, completing the square expanding um, the, th the different forms of, of quadratics, vertex, standard, and factored, um, some of the key aspects or characteristics of, of a quadratic, uh, like the vertex, the x-intercepts. Um, basically, uh, the last lesson was kind of building up to this, um, basically reminding you how to go about finding the different key parts, key characteristics of a quadratic from the three forms of the equation. So now what we're doing is we're working with word problems uh, and we're going to use those skills that we've we've been practicing. So um, I know most of you uh, in math don't really like to hear word problems. Um, but it is the more, I mean, there's no point in learning math skills if you don't know how they relate to things that we might want to s figure out in the real world. And that's where we are here. So um, so this, uh, this week, we're just going to do one lesson. And that's this word problem lesson. Uh, the homework is, is I'll, be, I'll show it to you in a second, but it's basically a little handout with 30 different word problems. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to how, how to work with a variety of them. We're going to kind of categorize them, and I'll be doing examples of of most of them um, in separate videos. So I'm going to separate those specific word problems into it, their own videos, so you don't have to kind of go through this a big long video to figure out well where was that where was that question on revenue again? It'll be a, it'll be a separate video. So there'll be multiple video parts. Uh, I'll have a couple delete, uh, couple videos released with this. I'll be adding more throughout the uh, through the day. Um, so that's where we are. So um, let's just look at the definition here. I've already kind of talked about this. Quadratic word problems are word questions, which always involve a quadratic equation. Uh, sometimes we'll be given it to you and sometimes you have to create it. So obviously it's more difficult when you have to create it, but hopefully I'll give you enough examples that it shouldn't be overly difficult. Um, questions will almost always be related to finding the maximum or minimum, which is the vertex, or the roots, the x-intercepts of the function. So uh, what we did in the last lesson, how do you find the, the vertex or the x-intercepts from any form of quadratic, that will come in extremely handy. It will be very important. Okay, so what skills do you need to solve word problems? I've kind of gone through that a little bit. Uh, the big new skill that you haven't had to do so far is be able to create a quadratic equation from the information that's given to you. Um, and that involves assigning a variable before you can create the equation. Um, you have to be able to convert the three forms of quadratic equations, and that was uh, your second assignment. So going back and forth between the different forms and then find various pieces of information from the equation, uh, most important ones, vertex, roots, x-intercepts, and y-intercept. Uh, and one of the ways we did that was with the quadratic formula. That was fairly recent. Okay, we also did completing the square. You might need to do that. Uh, now, like all word problems, I mean, once you have get the figure out what the vertex is or the x-intercept, how does that relate to the final 
to the final answer to answer the word question? Well, you have to be able to interpret your math solution and then answer uh, answer the with the correct way. Because if the question asks you high, how, how high did the firework go, um, right, and you're looking, you figure out the vertex is, you know, the 0.320, so you, you won't answer the question with the vertex is, is 320. You'll be answering the question, the, uh, the fireworks maximum height was 20 meters. Okay, so you have to be able to figure out, well, what does that, what does the 3 mean? What does the 20 mean? And how does that relate to the question? Okay, um, now I'll be, um, be generally categorizing the different types of word problems into these main categories. Uh, geometry problems involving triangles and rectangles, having to do with the area, the lengths of the sides, etc. Uh, find the value of two numbers. Projectile problems, this is anything go that goes up in the air and comes down, like flares, throwing a baseball. Uh, this one will be brand new, and revenue problems. So I'll be doing a special video on just that to go through that. And then the rest of them are not too, might be a couple of bridge or parabolic structures. Um, I'll talk a bit, hopefully maybe give you a video on that too. And miscellaneous are just, they don't really fit into these categories. Um, some of these might, I might give you the you know, the equation, some you'll have to create it, but there's not a whole lot of these out of the 30. Um, and then the rest of this lesson is, um, is really just uh, repeating what we did in lesson uh, three, well the previous lesson uh, where we kind of categorize. So these are the important pieces of information, vertex, x-intercepts, direction. So again, the vertex and the x-intercepts and the y-intercept, probably the important, most important when you're solving a word problem. Most of the time it, it's information related to these three things. Um, um, yeah, so that's, this part should seem really familiar. It's exactly I'm basically copying from the previous lesson just as a kind of a guide if you're doing word problems. How do I how do I get the vertex when it's in standard form? Oh yeah, I complete the square um, and find H and K. Um, so that's that's how this is, okay? Uh, so uh, the homework for this will be doing the 30 word problems and you, you'll probably say, well that's a lot of homework and I agree it is. Um, but here's the here's the benefit. Okay, so this week's assignment um, will be deciding between five and six word problems. Um, let's say it's six, just for for argument's sake. So it's going to be six word problems. Five of the word problems will be on from this assignment. Okay, one will be more of a thinking question that you haven't seen on on your um, quadratic word problem assignment, which I'm going to show you in a second. So basically, if you do all 30 word problems over the next, you know, five days, um, you'll, you'll basically, be, you know, if you do them right, you'll be on uh, the assignment that comes out on, on Friday, and I'll probably uh, issue it a bit earlier, instead of three o'clock, maybe nine, or nine in the morning, just to give you a, extra time on that. So uh, basically, if you've done all 30 word problems, you can copy five, five of those or be directly on the assignment and there'll be one extra. So there's a real benefit to doing all of these questions. So this document, um, which is attached as part of this lesson, it's got, uh, it's called quadratic word problems. You can see some of them are like one, two sentences. Some of them are a bit longer. Um, so, um, we'll just scan through these. Okay, uh, what we're going to do, um, not right now, but um, I go back to the lesson here for a second. So this is where we, I kind of talked about the different types of word problems, uh, geometry, etc. So what I would like you to do and it's, you know, you're not being tested on this, it's more a recognition thing, is to maybe take take your word problem document and maybe right be, beside here, 
right? Oh, this, for example, this one here, the flight of a ball hit from a tee. Okay, what type of problem is that? Um, well, that's a, you know, something going up in the air and coming down. It's a projectile. So that would be a projectile question, okay? Um, this one here, a rectangle has an area of 330 meters squared. Uh, what type of problem would that be? That looks like geometry involves triangles and rectangles. Okay, so there's a geometry question. So I'd like you to go through, uh, just pencil in beside your question, because what I would suggest doing is once you've once you've got these, and I will actually post the correct answers, uh, not right away, but maybe on Tuesday I'll, I'll post a, you know, a scan of the document with the names of the type of word problem. Um, hopefully you'll have done that before so that you can compare. But what I would suggest is maybe at the very beginning, you know, you'll see an example of me doing a, a projectile question like this one. Oops, uh, that one there. Um, it may or may not be that one, it may be a different one. Um, so we'll go through it. I'll go through it uh, on video. Uh, hopefully you'll get the idea. And then what you can do is all the projectile questions you've identified, go through and do them because they're going to be quite similar. Uh, be minor differences here and there, but um, that's what I would suggest. So for example, go do all the projectile questions and then Go do all the geometry questions and the you know the revenue questions. If you break it into categories, you know you'll you'll get into a bit a bit of a momentum because the, all the questions you're doing have something in common instead of just going back and forth. If you want to do the just go straight through, do all thirty in the way they're presented. That's fine. Um, it's really up to you. So, um, so I'm going to end this video now. Um, but uh, what I'd like you to do is have, you know, look at the videos I've posted. They'll be, you know, underneath this video. I'll have the, you know, the name of the type of word problem, for example, projectile or revenue, and go through each one separately. I wouldn't, probably, most of you probably wouldn't benefit by looking at them all at once. It might be a little bit of information overload, but uh, some of you definitely can. It's really up to what you think you can handle best. So um, now this week, I really expect to hear from all of you. Um, the the office hours that I have Tuesday and Thursday. Um, if you don't start working on these word problems by Tuesday, you're going to be in big trouble. Okay, because this is a lot of work, and if you have questions and you don't start this till Thursday night, well. You know, it's going to be tough. So I'm here to help you, but uh, I'm not going to be helping you on Saturday. I'm going to be helping you Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, if you want to text me something on Remind outside of those hours, that's fine. But, um, you know, I can't draw up a situation with you like I can when I do the office hours. Okay, so... Um, this is a, like I said, this is the, the end of quadratics. So this is the final assignment on quadratics. Uh, we'll be starting something brand new next week. But uh, this is very important. Uh, this assignment tells me your understanding of quadratics. And uh, it's, it's a fair bit more work than previous weeks. So I urge you to get started quickly. Ask as many questions. If you have a you know, if you have a friend in this class or another class, maybe, you know, help each other out. I don't mind that at all. Uh, as long as you're collaborating and not copying work, I'm good with that. Okay, so uh, look look to the other lessons below. Um, sorry, the other videos below. And, uh, you know, divide and conquer, like I said. Like, do, look at the projectile video and then maybe go do all the projectile questions. Okay. And then by the time you get to the end, it's, you know, it won't be as bad as it looked because you're able to do it that way. Okay, so uh, I want to see some good work this week. And again, if you have any questions, please ask me. Don't leave this to the last second. And I don't want to hear from anyone next week saying I didn't get it. Well, you should have, you should have, you know, you got to do the work and you got to ask questions. Okay, you just can't give up right away. 
Okay, next year when you a lot of you want to do uh, the grade 11 university level math, uh, that is the toughest math course out there. And unfortunately, you guys are at a disadvantage like a lot of grade 10s are this year. Um, so it's going to be a tough haul. And this is this is the unit, this is the assignment that will tell me, are you guys ready for uh, uh, the 11 university course? Okay, so let's see some good work out there. And I want to wish you all the best luck. Okay, thanks.